Hello all, NBE has introduced a diploma program in anesthesiology very recently and uh, so this particular diploma program in anesthesiology is it really worth doing and what are the pros and cons of doing it and also if you plan to settle with this particular diploma how should you go about in your career and if you want to do DNB what are the kind of obstacles that you are going to face are being discussed in this particular video and uh, you all know I am Dr. Dheeraj Masapu I am a neuroanesthesiologist I have done DMA neuroanesthesiology and uh, I would like to uh, a story of uh, one of my senior with whom I worked so after finishing my MD anesthesiology I worked in a medical college for a few months there I met uh, uh, this guy and uh, he has done diploma in anesthesiology this diploma NB has introduced now recently but this has been there uh, in the NMC since uh, many decades actually so the diploma program was typically two years so I, I would like to just tell you the uh, story of this man so that it will help you in deciding whether to take this diploma or not so this particular uh, guy uh, uh, was a very uh, smart and intelligent guy and also very skilled guy and uh, immediately after finishing my MD even I would uh, actually I would I, I took his help multiple times in dealing many cases and he's very good in giving anesthesia for pediatrics and you know uh, in ENT cases he also had a very good uh, private practice outset he was going for freelancing in multiple hospitals so skills wise is very good but uh, while interacting with him what I realized is there is some kind of a lacuna in his uh, mind or heart whatever you say so the lacuna is that he always is to feel that he should have done md so i i asked him actually why are you actually feeling that you should uh, you should have done an md then what he told is that md according to him mds get more respect in the medical college and also the career progress of md is faster than diplomas so what happens is uh, with a diploma uh, you will be called as an SR or maximum you can reach assistant professor stage but with an MD you can rapidly grow <coughs> you can become assistant or associate to professor very rap very fast so that is what he told me then I suggested him uh, why, why don't you go for a DNB then he told me a set of problems that he had which I am going to tell you and uh, also after few months he decided to leave the medical college and then he took a break and he prepared for uh, uh, MD exam again so what happened whether he has taken it or not I'll tell you in the end of the video before that I would like to just tell you about this particular DNB uh, program that NB has introduced I've gone through the curriculum of this uh, diploma program so NB has around 2775 diploma program diploma seats in several branches uh, and uh, in that anesthesiology is also there so I've gone through the curriculum, syllabus and uh, the training activities that they are actually uh, requesting the centers to do. It is pretty good. So training wise, according to the curriculum, it is very good. But whether this really happens in that particular center or not is a question mark. That we don't know. So uh, the second thing would be... Uh, Passing. So passing this particular uh, exam we really don't know because the first batch has not yet come but I personally feel passing would be easy because now when I was doing uh, MD anesthesia the, the DNB pass rate was around 17 to 18 percent but now the pass rate has gone significantly higher to uh, about 90 percent many guys are passing actually so when the primary dnbs are passing i don't think that this diploma uh, in the dnb the passing would be tougher it would be surely easier so but there are some problems which i personally feel that you might uh, face the the hospitals where this diploma program is there uh, you need to do a proper inquiry about the cases and the kind of academics that they're going to that they're going to run before joining and the second thing would be super speciality exposure will not be there or you have to inquire once i don't think you will get a super speciality exposure which is very mandatory now so basic skills are important but super speciality exposure is also important which helps you in deciding your career actually and according to me you have to go for a dnb after this diploma otherwise uh, in this present competition you cannot survive even you go to towns also you might face an issue
so that is about uh, my uh, uh, opinion so now what i have done is um, i have taken an interview with um, dr sujit uh, he has finished his uh, diploma in anesthesiology under an mc and then uh, he has uh, overcome some barriers and he has taken dnb right now he is in dnb training so he will tell what actually uh, is the scope of diploma how can you you know practice with diploma in different places and also he is going to tell you uh, what are the obstacles that he faced while taking up uh, dnb and how he overcome that so let's go into so hi sujit hello sir hi so this uh, dn i want to ask you a few questions about the nbe's uh, diploma program and uh, i thought you would be a right guy to talk about this so can you just uh, tell us what are the pros and cons of somebody doing this particular diploma of 2 years and nbe uh, sir uh, so i did my N, uh, da diploma in anesthesia in uh, under uh, and then i joined the uh, uh, dnb uh, in uh, corporate hospital uh, in bangalore so i uh, there is a website uh, that is available uh, uh, given by the nbe itself uh, it will give us an idea of where where all the seats are there for nbe be it dnb or uh, be it uh, diploma under nbe uh, i will uh, yeah i'll i'll put that link in the description Uh, yes sir so uh, i had i've gone through that uh, website and uh, from what i saw uh, the branches offering uh, diploma under nbe uh, they are anesthesia uh, uh, family medicine ent ophthalmology obg radiology pediatrics and pulmonology and uh, first of all i feel uh, branches like ent ophthalmology and obg which uh, require surgical skills uh being in a corporate hospital uh, in as uh, for the diploma itself uh, you may not give get as much uh, uh, clinical or uh, surgical hands on uh, exposure uh, so that might be a, a disadvantage for for uh, for the surgical uh, subjects uh, and there uh, i also saw that there are many uh, diploma courses that are there in the government hospitals government uh, district hospitals across this across the country um these are places which uh, where there is no previous academic experience so we don't know how seriously they are going to take academics uh, uh, definitely they will have good uh, patient input but uh, just having patient input and without anybody to teach especially in uh, a subject like anesthesia uh, it uh, it is not a good idea so it's definitely important to have someone to teach you when you are uh, uh, after your mbbs especially in uh, subjects like anesthesia because we wouldn't have had much exposure during mbbs got it got it yes sir uh, so uh, it uh, also uh, I, i would say it would be a good idea to get into a diploma course if you already have plan to join secondary dnb after the diploma course got it got it so previous like in the beginning itself when you are joining itself you should be uh, like uh, firm that you i'm going to do this diploma and i'm not going to stop there from there i have to i will be joining the secondary dnb that would be a, a good idea but uh, if somebody doesn't want to uh, do dnb if they want to settle with diploma awesome. how how should they plan their uh, life ah uh, sir uh, post uh, diploma you can uh, actually start working independently in your subject as a uh, 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 as a specialist uh, but success in the in such a situation will uh, will be dependent on where you are starting your practice and also uh, yeah, like like it's easier to set up practice in remote areas than in urban centers because there will be more uh, people with higher qualifications in the urban center and uh, you can also start working as an assistant to a senior consultant to get gain more more and more experience and then uh, you can uh, uh, go on your own a little later but that uh, problem with that is you will not have any uh, edu- uh, your uh, educational qualification will remain diploma nothing above that even though you will have better uh, skills or better clinical uh, uh, skills yeah uh, you can also uh, if you don't want to start on your own you can do locum night duties the, that will be a very uh, chill way of uh, going about it just doing night duties about maybe about 10 to 15 per month 
and yeah. you will have uh, you will have pretty good uh, uh, earning to go what to is the average payment they give for one night duty in anesthesia sir uh, in uh, um, 100 bed hospital in uh, you will get about 5000 per night per night yes okay. sir uh, and uh, the nights also uh, yeah, uh, you, you will be on your own so you will have independence you will uh, can do uh, what you f- uh, what you feel is right for the patient so my uh, another question would be if somebody wants to do dnb or md after the diploma of uh, the nbe so there are some uh, hindrances in uh, personal life as well as so many other things will come up so what are the those commonly uh yes sir so mo- mostly what happens is after diploma uh in uh, like in uh, maybe you get married or maybe you uh, start a, uh, uh, like you have been uh, uh, relied upon financially by your family so that uh, that becomes a, a hindrance because you will have to start earning and uh, then you uh, if you join diploma again uh two years of studying and uh, that that won't be feasible and maybe sometimes you will be so uh, tired of uh, the exams and everything some people may say i am done with exams i just want to start earning and i i just want to start living my life so that uh, again uh, that will be become a hindrance again um so how to uh, overcome that and uh, go to next level ah uh, yes sir so that is the thing uh, w- w- when i joined my d- diploma i had uh, decided f- in the beginning itself that i will be join uh, doing this two years of diploma and i will be definitely doing the dnb course uh, that uh, i had that uh, 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 firmly in my mind so that that helped me a lot and also one one thing is doing a diploma may, may be helpful in uh, in a uh, tier 2 or, or uh, rural area but if you want to st- settle in a corporate hospital or if you want to be in a uh, uh, urban uh, 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 practice in the urban center then uh, definitely having a md or dnb is at least the basic now uh, nowadays it uh, you even uh, require uh, neuro anesthesia or some some special super specialization like uh, Uh, uh to to be uh, of the, of some demand or some uh, value to the hospital so thank you sujit for the input and uh, but the number of years are going to be more i yes, feel sir. in this way one uh, thing is one uh, th- there will be 3 uh, years of direct primary dnb or uh, md or 4 years if you are going to do md post uh, md and then uh, secondary dnb but one thing is if you think about uh, md directly md in private medical colleges where uh, usually that's where the uh, rank uh, coincides with people taking uh, private medical colleges in uh, uh, md in private medical college and people taking uh, uh, primary dnb or uh, d, uh, d diploma in under nb they will be in the same uh, uh, rank bracket so if you think about it private medical colleges have a very high fee comparatively uh, compared to the d, uh, nb uh, yeah so if you uh, uh, if that is a problem then uh, i would i would say nb has very low uh, this thing uh, uh, fee and there are no hidden charges well when you go to private medical colleges they once you go there then you will have uh, many places i have seen you, after you go there at least uh, 50000 at least you will have to pay more on some miscellaneous charges some library thing and all that so that that is not there here it is very transparent under nb and uh, and the uh, program is also very structured they have uh, 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 fat exam they, uh, they have a uh, uh, very structured program for academics got it so financially the nb is uh, far uh, superior i feel sir financially also and uh, also the exam itself sir even though it it may be a little strict but you will be a better mm-hmm. doctor under md if you if you, uh, like under uh, mci you start md you know that you will pass got it whatever uh, like if you don't do some major uh, blunder mm. or something they will definitely pass yes. you 
Okay. Here it's not like that. You, you have to know something. You have to deserve it to yes. pass. So that is one good so thing. So always thing. that will be there in your mind. Yes, sir. Mm. That uh, your pass is ah. not guaranteed. Yes, sir. <laughs> the, yeah. So that that. It, uh, yeah, I hope uh, Sujith has explained in detail. And uh, now ball is in your court. You decide whether you want to go ahead with diploma or not. So I personally suggest, uh, you know, it's my suggestion. It's your personal uh, decision. Finally, not to marry immediately after the diploma because uh, you might get stuck with uh, financial obligations. And second thing is that. Uh, whatever uh, challenges come you have to face and go ahead and do the dnb program without which you'll not be eligible for any kind of super speciality training or even fellowship training and progressing in academic centers also will be very tougher so think about it that is about this and uh, and i would like to uh, tell uh, what happened to my senior my senior actually couldn't uh, do the dnb or md after the diploma he tried for 3 4 years but he couldn't do so finally since he's very skilled he's been taken up by a very good surgeon and he's working in a hospital he's very well settled and he's earning a lot of money also so uh, the story is that this diploma uh, is useful in one way according to me if you are not able to afford for an md at present private medical colleges where the fees are nearly uh, 15 to 30 lakhs per year then you can go for this diploma and then strategically do plan for uh, prepare for the super specialty dnb and uh, special specialty dnb and then you finish the dnb so that would be more economical plan uh, that's it so so these are the uh, inputs from me and if you really want uh, to progress in your md anesthesia career you need a mentor that is what i feel so right now i am not mentoring anyone but in future i am planning to start a mentoring program in anesthesia so i would uh, take few candidates and uh, i would like to mentor them and in different aspects of anesthesia career and training and the challenges that you face during your training like the books that you read how to plan your super speciality which one to take everything i'm planning to mentor from first year onwards so i will te- tell you more details about that in upcoming videos it's just a thought running in my mind so see you guys and uh, if you have come to this part of the video i think you should subscribe to my channel and uh, many people are asking me how to connect with me you can connect connect to me with uh, you know in instagram uh, masapu dheeraj is my uh, instagram id and uh, you can connect me there and put personal messages i reply to each and every message if you really don't want to comment on youtube then you can come for a personal message there okay guys see you and uh, hope uh, most of your doubts have been clarified thank you very much bye bye